Open your fight gate and go to the Vampire Savior channel. Go to the training mode listing for the hyperlink or click the hyperlink under this video. Now click the big green code button and click on the download zip button. Now that you have it downloaded, you can extract it. You can use WinRAR, 7-Zip, or whatever default your OS comes with. Now that you have extracted it, you can go ahead and delete the original zip file. Save space. Now that you've done that, go and find your Fightcade folder. My favorite way to do it is to right-click the application, click on Properties, Open File Location. In your newly opened folder, go ahead and backstep to the Fightcade folder. Go to Click to Emulator, FB Neo. Now open that folder you extracted and put the two windows side by side. In the extracted folder, you want to go into this folder, select the Scripts folder, the Run VSAV Training.bat, and the training modes JSON, and you want to drag all of that to the FB Neo folder. You can now do yourself a favor and delete the original folder that you extracted. You're going to want to do another favor for yourself and create a shortcut for the bat folder that you had just moved to FB Neo. Right click and create shortcut, then move that shortcut to where you feel like putting it. Now that you created the shortcut where you want it to be, go ahead and double click it and it'll take you to the character select for training mode. Now with training mode open, you're going to want to go to input, map game inputs, and map the inputs for player 1 and player 2. I use my joystick slash arcade stick for myself on player 1, and I use the keyboard for player 2. Pressing player 1 pause will take you to the training menu where you can change your options. Pressing player 1 coin will let you switch which character you're controlling. If you map your game inputs to have volume up and volume down, volume up will record and volume down will play. If you want to record player 2, you have to switch to player 2, record, and playback.